Union County officials are trying to decide whether or not to allow tackling for youth football. A lot of people will be talking yes. about this. 7 News reporter Nikkel Smith talked to folks about it in Union County. Nikkel? Yeah, Gordon, Amy, this is causing a lot of conversation, as you said, in Union County, and an online petition is growing. In Union, there's not a whole lot to do. But one thing Patrick Kelly says kids can do is play a sport, particularly football, and he loves to coach them. Maybe with the younger kids to get rid of the tackle, just to start with the fundamentals of them and then take them up the tackle. But I think before they get to Sims, they should know the blocking and tackling. The Union County Recreation Department offers youth football for a fee for kids ages 5 to 12. Supervisor Frank Hart says council members voted this week to move away from youth tackle football after advice from the rec department out of concern for head injuries. I completely understand that, but at the same time, there's no definitive evidence of that. There's experts that, uh, that say you're going to get just as many head injuries from playing soccer as you do playing football. So, I mean, what do you do from there? Do you shut down all sports? CBS Sports reports neuropathologist Dr. Ann McKee released a study that found children, quote, who start playing tackle football before age 12 will, on average, develop cognitive and emotional symptoms associated with CTE much earlier than those who start later. So the first thing we do is teach them how to tackle correctly so they don't get a head injury or a neck injury. These folks say the majority of kids who end up playing here started playing youth tackle football. At that age, it's not like they're big boys. You know, they're small in stature, and when they tackle, the impact is not that great. Parent Missy Wilkes started an online petition asking to stop the ban on youth tackle football. As a community, we all felt like we were just completely left out of the decision. These parents also say they feel kids can also get hurt playing flag football because they don't have the same safety gear, Gordon. So uh, where does this stand? Is it, is it a done deal? So the county supervisor says they're working to set up a meeting with county leaders next week to have further discussions before making a final decision, Gordon. Well, the county leaders are going to hear from a lot of people on both sides. Nikkel, thank you.